Hi there, my name's Tony and this is my 2010 Renault Master long wheelbase diesel, um, high roof, van build. Uh, I've had a lot of people comment about the van, I just thought it was just easier to put the video online. So without further ado, we'll show you around. Okay, so like I said, it's a 2010 Renault Master long wheelbase. The roof rack you see up there and all the striping and the black bonnet I put on myself. The idea is that it looks like a, a mining truck or a work truck and people just don't think that it's um, a motorhome. Hence a bit of, bit of fun with some numbers. Oh, and some dirty birds shat on the back of it. Damn. So I'll give you a quick look around. And I'll extend this pole up and give you a look on the roof. Okay, so I can't see what you're seeing, but that's the roof of the solar panels. A little bit of deck and a couple of vents. Okay, very briefly while I'm outside here, I'll show these spotlights. Got those all around and these are little cameras which I'll explain in a minute when we go inside. But spotlights on the front, camera on the front, and around this side again is a camera. See it. Camera in there. And another spotlight back here. Camera on the back. Okay, the back windows have been blanked out, and there's some silver in the middle of that to stop a bit of the heat. Plus, there's timber inside. These little round things here are one way vision, so I can see out, but you can't see in. They're little peep holes, so I can see through there, but from the outside, you can't see in. Okay, so this is it opened up. There's a lot to it, so I'll just try to keep as brief as possible. My shower is an external. So my shower is actually in here. That's my hot water shower. So it's a rechargeable battery. There's inside there, there's a gas bottle I can access through a, a little opening there. Um, I just hook the shower up here on something and I drop a bucket down there and I get great hot showers for, for ages. So on the doors, what these are, this is my shower curtain. So this actually comes out, extends and locks in there and my shower curtain comes across and I just clip it to the back doors and that's where I shower. This is my shower floor. I just drop that down the ground. All the water goes on the ground. Simple as that. When I'm finished, I just undo that. Clip it back into the holder. Good to go. Uh, an extension ladder there if I need to get on the roof. Okay, starting from the back, my electronics. So. I've got a 240 volt inlet, so when I'm parked somewhere I can get access to power. I've got power there. When it's on, fuse there, it charges the lithium battery. I've got two 160 watt solars on the roof and I've got a 175 amp hour lithium battery uh, with the, the whole monitoring system or whatever. Um, I've got a 2000 watt inverter, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got inverter power here and inverter power both sides of the vehicle up front. Um, this is my external 12 volt. I've got also got an external 12 volt down there. That, um, I'm gonna get rained on in a minute. But that, yeah, I can get power out from that to charge my hot water service or whatever. This is a brilliant thing from Heyman Reese. It's a step. 
so it saves saves my knees climbing in and out all the time okay i'm gonna drop the bed down and show you that before i go too much further so the bed very simple um that's it there the decorative holes are for ventilation plus it looks cool at night very comfortable. These straps have stopped my pillow from falling off the end. Um, I've got a fan right above my head. Another fan there. It's really hot. Um, it's all carpeted. But that's a 25mm foam behind that carpet. You can see. I need to plant it because it's a cassette. It's only when the bed's and I'm sleeping, but you do see it. Around. Finished, locks up, doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so as far as cupboards go, they're all ply. They're all about a six mil marine ply. Very light and very, very strong. My tools are in this section. Another cupboard here. Pieces, a few tools, got the cupboard there, and my battery is in there with my controller. Um, this setup. So I do a lot of computer work. So this just comes out. That comes out. The laptop's up here. Turn the screen on. Turn the laptop on. And I sit here, watch movies or work. Pretty easy. And very quick and effective backrest and all my camera gears back in there um, nothing much about storage under there storage here storage there little storages here there and everywhere these cupboards are sliding ACM so I'm, it's quite easy to drop them out give them clean or whatever but they just there. And the reason I made them slide is because if it flips up, you're losing all this area here. This fan's godsend. If it rains, it drops. But when I'm sleeping, my head's on this position, and it basically gives me a nice breeze all the way down. And I'll leave it down for the time being. LED lights, so they're good at night. They don't use a lot of power. I've got LEDs in under there as well. I'll leave them on and I'll bring you inside and show you the other bit. Okay, so here's all my electrics. I'll show you that close up in a minute. Uh, my cutlery drawer, my coffee cups, whatever, go in there. It's a push to close drawer, but it's not the best, so I have these little locks on it. Fridge, child lock to keep it closed just in case it comes open. Microwave, pantry, so all plastic, plastic pull out drawers. Can't go wrong, loads of feather. That just locks into there. I'll turn the camera around so you can see something in it. Okay, so this is my power CCTV. So those cameras on the outside you see all around. If I need to, at night I can turn on the cameras. It records straight away and it gives me 360 degrees. These are the spotlights. So the, the van's facing this way. They're the two front spotlights. They're the two side spotlights. And they're the two back spotlights. All my switches to turn everything off, turn the TV on, uh, turn all these lights off at night there or there my water tank I've got a 70 litre water tank underneath 2000 watt inverter that's my charging unit so the energy system so I can see what's coming in what's going out at the moment I'm at 85 
20% which means tonight because we've got overcast day I'll actually plug in to steal some power tonight and plug in for that uh, my mobile broadband that gives me 190 gig of internet mobile wise for about 80 bucks a month which is pretty good so I've got inverter power on this side and inverter power on that side I'll show you in a minute 240 volt power plus your USB charge ports a little bit further down I'm not gonna undo it but underneath here if I move that camera back a little bit yeah you'll be able to see that so underneath here basically is the toilet so this lifts off toilets in there uh, the back comes off and you've got access to the toilet it's all covered up only use it very frequently uh, it's a chemical toilet so um, it only smells if it gets really full but outside of that um, this is my lounge what I call my lounge area and with my Laguna table which is great they're yeah, brilliant they're just so versatile uh, my TV up here that comes out moves around all my music stuff of course um, RC505 Mark II loop station which I'm playing with okay so over this side we have the kitchen what I call the kitchen under here very important dirty washing and shoes turns into a seat if I sit down and put my shoes on that's where I go this locks up give me extra workspace obviously a sink water switch filtered water 70 litres underneath I can drink that no problems at all uh, that's a light switch for up there at Skylight I'll show you in a minute that just drops down I turn it over as a cutting board pretty self explanatory I shave here in the mornings wash my face brush my teeth all that sort of stuff but it also gives me access to my uh, portable cooker which I use occasionally bacon eggs in the morning sometimes that's just propane I don't need anything in I've got more propane gas bottles up the back it's lasted me for six months already um, little nooks and crannies for the little things yeah that's pretty self-explanatory um, my awning pole for outside uh, toilet rolls not for the toilet as much as uh, tissues so self-made toilet holder toilet roller holder this is the skylight i was telling you about brilliant plenty of light if i need it um i can i normally set it so it's just there let's air out but i can raise it up i could climb out of there if i really needed to um, or i can lock it down but I generally just lock it there so I've got ventilation um, fly screen so the mozzies don't get in or a full block out so it it really does block the light out well worth the money they weren't cheap but it's awesome so I'll just show you behind my power so this is all my wiring and I'm not overly neat but it's all it's all controlled I've got cutoff switches for my solar and my battery I can isolate them I've got USB in for charging um, yeah everything's labeled so I don't ever go into here unless I really need to or I'm uh, running a new wire and of course, my U-Butte wall with some of my graphics and a sticker. Um, and of course, walk through. So, I was going to explain this little temperature sensor up there. So, when I have the windows open, I leave the van. Um, as you know, it can get, this glass is quite, there's a lot of glass there, so it gets quite hot. And I've got a little, if I can see it there, a little sensor. 
which is hooked up to that. Uh, at 35 degrees, there's a fan there that actually sucks the air out of here into here and it vents out and it keeps the cabin at least a little bit cooler. But I block that off, shut the door, no one can see in, it looks like a work truck. And that's it. So I'm sorry if it's a bit short and sharp, but like I said, this is my second attempt at doing this video, walk around and showing you the first one I just waffled on for ages. So I'm gonna try and do that here. That's the van, if you've got any questions about it. Um, as far as build goes, it took me about three months. I did everything, the wiring, the everything. No one else had it hanging in it. Um, it took me three months after hours while I was running a business. Uh, on the Sunshine Coast. So it, it went pretty well. I needed to move into it as soon as I could because I was living in the shop at the time. But the van cost me 16,000 all up with the fit out, around about 37,000 all up and that's with my time, uh, not including my time. So there's a lot of hours in it, but it, it came up all right. It's a couple of minor difference, minor changes through the build but nothing, nothing major. So haven't had too many issues with it at all. Uh, it's very comfortable. The bed dropping down out when I need it is brilliant. I actually have a hammock that hangs all the way through the van. So if I want to, I can just hang a hammock inside here out of the weather and just laze around in a hammock. The, yeah, there's not really much more to say. I wouldn't buy a Renault Master if I didn't buy this one second hand for cheap because they're a tinny thing, they really are. This one's an auto, um, a manual, apparently the automatics are crap, so that's just from what I've heard. I've had issues with the fans on this um, and the air conditioner which I've got working now but yeah I need to replace those fans. There's a few, fair few of them around, the post, postal service has been using them but they're apparently getting rid of them, so I've heard. So there should be a lot of parts, spare parts on the market soon. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it though. So in, in about four or five weeks time, I'll be actually heading on the road down to Coffs Harbour and then all the way down to Tasmania, following the coast, doing aerial photography and a few more vlogs like this. But I hope you enjoyed the video and the next video will be on my pop top, which I tow behind this, which is actually my working uh, workstation computers and cutters and things for signage. So I'll show you that. That's another mission. But it's all done, ready to go. So, um, oh, that's what I was going to say. The weight of this. So when I first got this van and there was nothing on it or, or in it, it was just vacant van, it weighed 2.2 tonnes which is light for a van. It's rated, I think, at, at I don't know, three and a half tonne or whatever. The tow bar is weight, rated at three and a half tonne. But even with all the fit out and a full tank of fuel and a full tank of water, it only now weighs 3.1 tonne. So it's really quite light. Um, you do notice the extra weight when you fill up the tanks, but outside of that, I should get reasonably good fuel economy. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your build or any ideas. I've watched YouTube to get a lot of these ideas and it's worked. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.